Greetings, nondescript masses. It's a new year, the rules have changed, and one of our main characters is trapped in an exotic beverage container. You're thinking, isn't that the same as the big season three opener of Broadchurch? Yes, as they say, there are no new ideas. A quick update about our live shows, which I'm told we're really going through with. The January 12th show in Atlanta is sold out, but tickets remain for January 13th in Charlotte, January 15th in Portland, January 16th in Seattle, and January 17th in San Francisco. For links and info to buy tickets, visit hellofromthemagictavern.com and hit the live shows tab. And now, before you give up on us once and for all, and who can blame you, why not give us one more try? <laughs> Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. About four and three quarters of years ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting You're a Wi-Fi signal. You're doing great. Sig- You're doing great, buddy. Thank you, Chuck. I love you. Thank you. I love you too, bud. Uh, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal from the Burger King that I use Woo. to upload a podcast. Woo. I record chronicling our quest to defeat the Dark He's Lord. He's back, baby. He's also, small it. detail, uh, Necromancer stabbed me in the chest with a sword. Yeah. Uh, Usador froze my body in time because it's a kind of magic he can't take the sword out. Uh, so my body is on the edge of dying, uh-huh. but my essence has been flung into this uh, charming tiki mug. And you know what? Flung seems a little derogatory, but... Oh, all right. Well, my essence... But I will say, my body on the edge of dying is a beautiful song lyric. Oh, thank you. I love my friend and I support him. I love you too, buddy. I gotta say, I don't know if it's the fact that... I've been through a near tragedy or the fact that I'm I'd full of rum. A, I'd say it's a full-on really... tragedy. <laughs> if I might, getting uh-huh. stabbed through the chest with a magical sword is, is a full tragedy. It's not a near tragedy. Oh. But you're still here with us, yeah. fighting on, as all good souls must do. And they must take up arms to defeat the Dark Lord. I, each and every one of us, must play our part in this grand scheme. Oh, uh, now Usador's trying to get a good song there, Kim. <laughs> John, how is Scheming your songwriting? on the back fence. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I've been getting into Jethro Tull. <laughs> yes, me too. Yeah, Ever King, since yeah. we met Ian King Anderson. King of the road. Yeah. yeah. Interesting guy. Do you think back on Earth that Ian Anderson ever told anybody that he ran into us in his dream walks? I have food? to imagine. I, 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 I will respectfully disagree. Well, anyway, yeah. we got to talk about what's going on since last week. We've uh, been traveling out of the swamps. Mm-hmm. And we are here at the Deviated Scepter. The tavern, the Deviated Scepter, Mm -hmm. yeah. It's based on a magical scepter who is a a pervert. Oh. (laughs) Real deviant. Oh, wait, so is it the Deviant Scepter or the Deviated Scepter? Deviated Deviated Scepter. Oh, okay. I guess for uh, fresh being against the boards, I don't know what Deviated means. I thought it meant to be a deviant, but no, uh, it, fine, I made it up. I don't know why it's called the deviated scepter. Oh, it means it means separated. Oh, okay. It means split in two. Okay. Oh. oh. So it's a scepter that got, uh, maybe a king lost his rule. The scepter was split in twain. Yeah, I'm sorry, split king. in Clemens. What? What's that? That's its king. Ah, I miss Tico. But I love Arnie. You know, Arnie, at some point we may have to go back to Jizzle Knob. I left Eggy Baby at the school. Yeah, and I've got a whole class that uh, I gave some homework to, and I haven't been to office hours in weeks and weeks. Oh, that's a shame. And I think that's that... not even counting the weeks and weeks I missed office hours when I was at Jizzle Knob. I'm sure they'll be fine, but at some point we, we may want to circle back. I've also talked to the school. I've talked to Can about maybe shipping or he's mailing great. Eggy Baby to me. What's up? He's great, Can the Wizard. Yeah, he's, uh, you, so, you doing okay, buddy? But, you... no, but I guess I didn't realize. Eggy Baby is still a Jizzle Knob? Eggy Baby's enrolled, put on the sorting pants and got put in Chirping Birds, so uh, Eggy Baby's uh, taking classes. How are you doing, bud? Being, I know I've been going through a lot, so that maybe has made me think about myself too much. Yeah. It's kind of a lot to be like, I am a tiki mug, but I don't want to neglect that you're separated from your Sure, right everybody now. has, we're all fucked, right? We all have problems. Mm. Um, yeah, Except it's hard. It's going to be pretty good. You saw her, he can get killed if he comes right back, but he doesn't got enough magic to do that for his buddy. Well, I'm doing the best I can. I'm looking for solutions. Why, we're on our way to the Library of Meridanth right now. The Library of what? Meridanth. The Library of Meridanth. 
Yes, Arnie, well, you should let me name more places. <laughs> Them in the library of Meridan. Uh-huh. Uh, we, we shall find perhaps a cure uh, for your current condition, and we'll be able to decipher these pages we have gathered from the Book of Sight, getting us one step closer to defeating the Dark Lord of Foon. Stop trying to make song lyrics. Um, it's not right. going to happen. Oh, Sorry. but Usador, the page we got from Dripfang, the one that a new word appears every day or week, I don't remember. Have there been any new words or glyphs or runes that have appeared? Every third night, when the moon is in its waning or waxing cycle, it tells of one more rune, and the most recent rune is corn on the cob. Does it mean corner of the cob, or is the symbol sort of look? Well, like I, on, the on its own, it yes, that rune means corn on the cob, but betwixt all the other runes which have not yet all revealed themselves, the true meaning may still be learned. Oh. And that's why we have to go to the Library of Meridens so we can decipher all the runes together and, and then see how the corn uh, the corn cob fits into it. We have to see. How the corn cob fits in there. It's a yeah. simple task, yeah. Arnie. Guys, I'm just going to come out and say it. I think we've done a good job doing the serialized part of the episode. <laughs> Let's move to the episodic part. Oh, hold on, hold What's on. That? We can't get to the Library of Meridanth without getting across uh, the bridge here. Well, funny you should mention that. I actually uh, was talking to the bartender, who's a wonderful person who's just a floating set of teeth. Don't that's know. what that is? Yeah, that's the bartender. And it uh, told me... That, because I was asking around for a guest, uh, they said the only guest that we could have on, we didn't have a choice, was that the gentleman over there at the bar. Oh, I'm so sorry. Chatters? Are you talking about Chatters? Is oh, you know the Chatters? The bartender Chatters? The bartender that's just teeth. I imagine that. That's Chatters. That checks out. Can I ask, and I don't know if this is an appropriate question to ask, the bartender that's just teeth, what does its voice sound like? Um, I don't, to be fair. I'm just asking for your best Chatters <laughs> impression. Yeah, it's kind of like this. Yes, extremely you're, sexual. You want to have her guest <laughs> on? Extremely yeah. sexual. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, very sexual. Every time Chatters opened its teeth, I was just rock hard, just like, what is, ooh, why, fucking, mm. Why is everything about this place sexual to you guys? I don't see it. Really? Well, Deviated to be, scepter? To be fair. Two dongs? <laughs> Chunt, to be fair. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> two dongs don't make a right? Come on. He is a tiki mug right now. Yeah, to be <laughs> fair, a tiki mug, you don't really have any drive, from, right? Right. You, yes. You know, you're still you don't have any fire right. in your belly, right? It's full of so much sugar. Yeah, so you're probably sleep. More than usual. <laughs> Sleepy and a little, you know. If I wasn't diabetic before, I am now. Okay, but so, I'm so sorry. Moving into the, the sort of melding of the serialized meets episodic part of this episode. I've taken an almost Shatner-esque pause. Are you casting a spell? What's happening? I think he's trying to gesticulate, but he's a tiki mug. I can't. So. Yeah, I, I that have must all be these frustrating. Impulses. You know me. I'm so expressive with my hands and my face, but I'm really just a, a tiki mug. Well, I've always, frozen. I've always said you're the most physical podcaster I've ever oh, met. Yeah. Oh yeah, you on a stage is just like. Whoa. Yeah, I'm visual like the, dynamite. <laughs> I'm the Barishnikov of improvised podcasts. Anyway. So. We gotta get this pass to go over this bridge. Well, no, okay, Just, I'm so we, sorry. We have talk to talk. To to, we have to have this who did guest. Ch- who did Chatters tell you to talk? The gentleman at the bar. I think his name is uh, Mr. Jones or uh, Shireff Jones. Um, can one of you try to talk him into coming over here at yeah, the table sh- so we could talk to him? Also. Just out of due diligence, and we're not as good about doing this as we probably should be. We should let him know we're recording him. Mm-hmm. Well, I See think if he's we actually get him to sign any kind of release. Of course, of course. I think he's actually been listening um, oh. this whole time, so oh. I don't think we have to get up to get him. I think. No, he... I haven't. Oh, I have not been listening. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, oh. yeah, we'll go get him. Okay. That's good news. Yeah. What? My bad. I well, thought it, I thought he was listening. I, I just want you to know I wasn't cool. listening. I feel so rude now. Oh, John, would you go? <laughs> yep. Let me go get him. <laughs> While Chunk goes to get our guest, these pages from the Book of Sight, I should hold on to them. You can't have them. You're never going to get it. Never going to get it. Never going to get it. I brought our guest. Stop, never, trying, to, uh, stop trying to make some lyrics happen. I uh, brought our guest here. Um, this is Shireff uh, Bloviation Jones. Bloviation Jones. How y'all doing? Oh, Good. Oh, How are hey, you? listen. Let me get one of the fellas to fill that tiki mug for you. Oh, oh, oh that's actually, our friend. Hey, that's our friend. Uh, Larry. Oh. We need a tiki mug fill. <laughs> Table oh. seven. 
Hey, I'm so sorry. You may not have noticed this. I'm a talking tiki. Holy yeah. shit! I know. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. When did we offer talking tiki mugs, Larry? We, uh, we brought our own. We brought, I, oh. talked to, I talked to Larry the Saber guy, and I told him our friend is a tiki yeah. mug, so please well, don't. I, I saw you talking to Chatter. But then that he he lies through his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's, no, that's I good. apologize. You, you for had that. to. You had I to. don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I love that. I, and I saw there is a sign outside that says no outside drinks, mm. but I didn't really. Know well, you got your your drink on the inside though. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, so I mean, like, yeah. if you want to be technical about it, now how can I help you, fellas? What can you do for me? Well, um, I'm recording all of everything oh. that we're saying right now. Ah. Oh, is that right? Um. I guess if I uh, asked you not to kind of put the kibosh on whatever the hell it is you're doing here, right? Oh, well, we would gladly, uh, as you said, put the kibosh on things if we were allowed uh, passage over the bridge. Yeah. See, we are on the, our way to the Library of Meredith. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And we don't, want to rock, we don't want to rock the kibosh. No, so, uh, yeah. no, don't rock the kibosh. Rock the kibosh. I understand. Oh, well, see, it just ain't that easy. You get easy. to do it. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just, I'm, we have a, a magical jukebox. Uh, How does that work exactly? Uh, you, you, you put a gold coin into it, right? You put right? a gold <laughs> coin into it. The gold coin turns into uh, a quarter. and uh, uh, A quarter of what? A quarter of a man, a, a small a man. A quarter of a, a gold piece. Uh, that's a, <laughs> then I get a three-quarter profit, uh-huh. and then the, uh, the other quarter goes yeah. in there. And then the gold piece turns into a magical black disc, and mm-hmm. music comes out. Ooh. Oh, that's something beautiful. Wow. Trying to, well, the guy came in and said, give it a try. Sure. Let we moved s- the shuffleboard table over just to put that magical jukebox that's in nice. there. What, and I'm so sorry. I know we have much more important things to talk about. What are some of the more popular songs that you can play on the jukebox? Uh, we've got uh, a bridge over uh, troubled water. Okay. <laughs> now, not waters. <laughs> Water. Singular. Ooh. It's singular. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, just what is tra- it's so hard for me to get my bearings in this strange world. <laughs> well, and that's the bridge that you all want to cross. Oh. Yeah. It's over troubled water, so we need the bridge because we can't walk or swim. That's it. the actual we'll name die. of the river. Yeah. Troubled water. And troubled now, here's water. the thing I, uh, behind me. I'm a tiki mug. My real body is dying, frozen in time under this shit. Wait, excuse me? So if we if we need to go over this bridge over troubled water, you have a will dead, have to lay me down. You have a dead body mm, in, right yeah. here in the deep. My other body chapter. is a dead Arnie. Yeah. Not not dead. Frozen in time. I see. Here, look under this sheet. Hell! Oh! I look good. Hey, I'm you know that, though. That's a nice looking fella well, right there. Thank you, Shira. I like the, the sword in his chest. That's, yeah. that's a different kind of ornamentation. It's a choice. It's a choice. Yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's like a big piercing. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Not intentional, but I... So how long impact. How long has he uh, been skewered? Okay. Uh, three, three, weeks. Weeks. Three, three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. We froze him in time, then we transferred his essence into this tiki cup, and then we spent uh, some time getting him acclimated yeah. to life again. So it's been three weeks, but I'm frozen in time. It's like the longest, shortest time. So you brought a dead body into my business. I, yes, a and di- I know that there's a, a sign. Body. Yeah, there's a, a sign that said body. no dead bodies. This is a dying body. He's, yeah, it's he's mostly dead. dead. Still, fellas, I mean, that's a, probably a violation of... Oh, oh, ooh, you that's... know what? I'll throw it outside. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait, wait. no, 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 that's me. Usador, Grease his palm. Grease his palm? Yeah, you see that palm tree over there? Uh-huh. Yeah. They do need a cook of grease. On the, Allow me. On the fronds. Allow me to butter thine fronds. Excuse me? We just met. Listen, I'm, I have a, you're wanting to get to the library. Correct. Yep. Meaning you got to watch the fronds. I'm doing my best. Good God. That fella has no idea about la- had- landscaping, horticulture. He's- Beware, fronds, for you face Usador. Yeah, you know the phrase, never let a guy covered in bird shit work on your lawn? Yeah. That, that, yeah. That, that, he started that. That's he's because try- of He's trying to get all of them, and you've got fronds in low places. Oh, my God. <laughs> You are the corniest tiki <laughs> mug I've ever been in my life. Bloviation, let me get you a drink. I saw yeah. you just throw up Whoa, in your mouth a little well, bit. <laughs> I gotta rinse that one out a little bit there. How's that coming over there? I fell down. Oh, sorry. Well, so anyway, you all want to go to the library. Yes, it says. Uh, right, which means you want to cross the bridge. Yeah, yeah, go over the troubled water. Go over the troubled water. I imagine it's a pretty straightforward no. thing to get a pet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really not. It's a uh, very... It's really complicated. See, here's oh. the thing. Here's the thing, fellas. You are here okay. in the fiefdom of Festoon, okay. which is a subsidiary uh-huh. of uh, the Foon realm, yeah. and I am the sheriff of uh-huh. this particular fiefdom. Yeah. So, you know, whatever you want to happen, we can make happen, but it, I say we. Oh. 
but it's me. Oh, okay. Well, well we are willing to owe you one. Uh, hmm. Do you? Oh solid wait, wait, you know what? Hey, we're willing to owe you two. Yeah. Oh. If you give us a river pass today, we will happily pay you a favor on Tuesday. <laughs> I see. So you're going with the wimpy gambit. I see. I know it's a little weak. I know it's a little weak. No, no. I, I, I understand. Listen, that's how things get done here in Festoon County. Okay. So what you're looking for is you are a... He's a talking badger. He's a regular badger. badger. Yeah, talking okay. badger. And you are a talking tiki, tiki mug. mug. I guess mm-hmm. it's more complicated. But and we don't you are a it. talking gardener. I am a wizard. A wonderful, powerful wizard. The greatest that has ever been. So wonderful, in fact, that my palm is now completely covered in bacon fat. Thine evergreen is now greased in oleo, oh, no. and thine rose be covered in uh, chicken drippings. Oh, all that bacon fat has made it fr- that frond burgundy. Oh, I'm gonna, some of, I'm them, gonna go kill some of them are falling off, and uh, you got a frond in me. Mm. Why do you? Why do you get guys? I think we're pissing off bloviation. Yeah, let me. I got you down for six <laughs> violations so far. Keep it up, what? big boy. Wait, hold yeah. on, hold on. We're we're piling up violations. Yeah, I'm afraid you are. Okay, so and you are a which wizard I are am you? Usador the Blue, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Tarakas, known to the elves as Fiang Yalak, known to the dwarves as Zodan and Hukstengis, and I am also known in Northeast is Gasmuenius Maystar, and there may be other many secret names that I shall ne'er utter. Well, there, that's a problem. Oh, How shit. is that another, a problem? Another right? violation? That a problem? That's like eight titles. Oh. And here in Festoon County, you have to have titles for your titles. Oh. I have to have titles for my titles? You have to have titles for your titles. You sir, do you have titles for your titles? Now, fortunately for you, I am the titleist of Festoon <laughs> County, so I can actually title your titles. Look at those dimples. Well, if, if thou art a titleist, then I shall cast a spell and put thee in a sand trap. Mm. That's good. I like it. Unfortunately, oh, that's a violation. He's res- it. Oh, and he res- seems resistant to my spell. I tell you what we'll do here. I'm going to look past all the violations of time. Oh, thank you. I am good. And you're a talking badger? Ta- straight up talking badger. Wizard Nothing badger. Nothing magical. Do you license? Uh, uh, Does he qualify as a pet? I've had my oh. shots. No, 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 no. I Arnold had the two Earth. shots when I got into the bar, <laughs> so I've had my shots. No, uh, he's a shapeshifter, so he's uh. his own creature. Now, Arnold is a man from Earth, so yes, he's more like my pet. What? He's a man from the planet I'm Earth. from another world. Oh, so it's an immigration issue. Oh, Uh-oh. No, oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, fellas, listen. Y'all have nice, well, y'all have faces. And uh, Wait, what I would you. like to see oh, what happened Thank there. you. I believe that reading is fundamental. So I think okay. what I'd like to do is I'll give you a chance to get to the library. For one thing, you have to say library. Okay. Is there something in particular you're looking for there? Or is there uh, a couple of things? Just a read. Yes, yeah. well, uh, mostly we're interested in finding some way to cure our friend here, put him out of the tiki cup and back into his body, and then we're going to look up some pages from the book of Psyche. Yeah, oh. some Dark Lord stuff, fighting the Dark Lord. Yeah. Just, just, you know, Ooh. just defeating the Dark Lord for the rest of all time. Uh, heroic quest. Saving all for, of all for all time? Well, you know, finally, uh, yes, I'd like to, you know, finally end this cycle of evil. Uh, sure, yeah. Well, here's the thing. See, Festoon has kind of a, a nice independent situation. Oh, okay. no. We From, stuffled into a situation. <laughs> we're in, we got situations all over the place uh-huh. around here. And, you know, we don't necessarily want to cheese off. The Dark Lord. Oh, oh no, 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 never want no. to cheese It's better if he's cheesed on. Yeah. It's better if he's cheesed on. So, you know. Everything the, is better with cheese on it. Wow. Fourth t shirt. <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> if we can do it completely undercover, if mm-hmm. you guys can keep a low profile, mm-hmm. I think we could get you across the bridge. I am well known for keeping a low profile at all times. Yeah, there it, is nowhere I go where I do not disappear into shadow. For if I do so decide to be invisible, none shall see me. None shall know Yusador, I am Yusador, present. Yusador, Yusador. Wait, what? Yeah, what? That's, that's all well and good, but we also are traveling with a tiki mug who's dragging behind him a corpse stabbed through with a sword covered in a blanket. Make a pretty good song, though. <laughs> so far. Yeah, I think you guys... 
You're like a Simone and Garfinkel. <laughs> they wrote Bridge Over Troubled Water. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I prefer Simone and Tumba. But they're good, too. <laughs> Hamuna Namada. That's why. That's what I always say. What is that? What is that expression? Mean? Hamuna Manana. Yeah. It's, it means making up bullshit when nobody else is paying attention to what you're saying. <laughs> oh my gosh! I finally found a catchphrase that really yeah. speaks. Guys, to me. it seems like this Shireff is used to bullshitting around with three middle-aged men. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I guess you could say that. Used to? Hmm. I don't know. All right. So anyway, I'll get you across the bridge, but maybe. And you may want to talk about this amongst yourselves. Okay. okay. All right. Now, maybe you would uh, do a little favor for me. A little tit for tat. Thanks. Yeah, or that too. What I mean, sort of favor? Everything about this place is sexual to you, John. I, when I said tit for tat, I immediately pictured tits on a rat. Oh, I'm rock hard. <laughs> Shireff, what sort of favor do you demand of us? All right. There is this giant rat. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> With a huge rat. Here we go, oh, yes. Of? Yes, 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 yes. And of weapons? He ha- he's a tattoo artist. Oh, uh-huh. And if you notice here, let me show you on my upper arm okay. where it yes. says... I see. Oh. Smother instead of mother. Oh. oh. He did that. And I didn't want smother. I don't want you to misconceive my conception. You wanted mother. I wanted mother. So you want to now? S- I want you to kill him. See, that's nice. Oh, Wait, what? We have to kill Tit Rat. The tattoo I want artist? you to kill Tit Rat, the tattoo uh, artist. Tat- about, no more tats got, for Tit. What if I got a tattoo that said "Smother" and we could be Smother's brothers? Mm. I like that. For all your references so far, that's my favorite. <laughs> Ooh, no violation. <laughs> it's semi. It's it's semi violating. Same over here. Um, no, I think if you uh, kill the Tit Rat for me. Mm-hmm. Now this is where it gets complicated. The tit rat so, yeah, is, so far it's a pretty easy job. The tit rat is actually my brother-in-law. Ooh. This has been a real problem for me because, as you can tell, I am a werehog. So I look like a big old hog. Yes, I w- I'm glad you said it because I didn't know a good way to bring it no, up. No, listen, I, my name's Bloviation. I mean, I, I, I know that's what a, I am. That's a pig name. Yeah, yeah. Hell, Bloviation high. Jones. Yeah. And I just yeah. felt like our listeners would love to know that you're a giant hog, but I couldn't know how to well, say I mean, it. Well, I mean, I am, uh, but every full moon, uh-huh. I turn into Don Knotts. <laughs> so it's a very strange combination. <laughs> so well, thank God, only uh-huh. you know once a month, you yeah. know, I'm walking around going, gosh, Andy! <laughs> uh, I don't know where the hell that came oh, from. Yeah. Oh, Sheriff. That was Sheriff. Of course, mm-hmm. I did that uh-huh. subconsciously. Yeah, Arnie, you kill the big rat. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Right. And I'll I'll see what I can do. I got some paperwork. Yes, you sir. know what? I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm a little worried about this Don Knotts. Let's not take the bridge. Let's take the convict's way. Let's just go take the Conway. I know we'll have some trouble no, with the Arnie, Apple Dumpling. No, Arnie, we can't take the Conway. Uh-huh. That's where Don Knotts resides. Oh. You see, he leads a gang. He's a Don. Uh-huh. And he, he ties a rope, and he, he'll hang you in that rope if you try and cross him. Oh, no. Don Knotts is not to be fucked with. So, so it ain't just the Tiki Mutt. Y'all do that. Bolivian, can I ask you? Mm-hmm. Do you like to, like, roll around in mud? Are you speaking metaphorically? Um, first literally, but then metaphorically. Yeah, I do. Oh. I do. When I was a, um, a little sow, uh-huh. I was a mud wrestler. Yeah. Uh, and that's actually how my sister met my uh-huh. brother-in-law. Uh, he was uh... Okay, so uh, let me tell you the whole story. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, let's settle down to hear the whole story. Okay. Would you like a drink, Bloviation? Uh, you could drink out of it. No, I am going to cough. Hold on. <coughs> okay, so here's the deal. Uh-huh. <laughs> my wife, when I was courting her, Oh, got to bite my tongue. I was in a, on a farm, and there was a um, this spider. Ooh. And this spider helped me out. The, the spider knew that I, I lived for my, my sweet Francine. Oh. And then turned out they was going to... Well, you know what they do to pigs? Kiss, put Turn lipstick them on them? No. Mm. You know what else they do with pigs? They slaughter them. They slaughter them. Oh, yeah. Bacon, oh. ham, sausage. Delicious. Um, thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's a family trait. <laughs> anyway, the spider felt sorry for me and started writing words in her webs uh-huh. up there. Some hog. And I was, I was, yeah, and so it was going pretty good uh-huh. until Templeton the rat come along. Oh. And ratted us out, and I think that's probably appropriate enough. Yeah. And that's. And uh, he ended up falling in love with my, my sister. Oh, actually, my sister fell in love with him. It was, it was all very awful. Sure. But they got married, and, you know, he left the farm and took yeah. up tattooing. Mm-hmm. 
Man, now I'm sick to death of some bitch, and he put yeah. smother on my arm. That's yeah. terrible. I, you know, telling your story, I feel like I've heard of you. You used to be a mud wrestler. Yeah. Are you the pig show? <sighs> I've heard tell of your guilty as charged. <laughs> what are you like seven oh. two? Well, it's the pig show. Yeah. You've never heard of the pig show? Um. I mean, I respect the art form. I just don't know that much about it. Used to be Saturday nights. Wow. Uh-huh. You're, a, you're a legend. I am, Thank it's you. It's an honor to meet you. And I would be honored to kill that uh, oh. tit rat. Yeah. <laughs> Get out, would yeah. you really? Yeah. How about you, Usador? Uh, uh, Usador, yes. Sir, I, would, I would gladly take this quest on for thee. Oh, wow. But I ask only that you allow us passage to the library. Yes, the library. And that you give us an autograph. Would you be so kind? Well, let's get some <laughs> autographs and uh, maybe one on the bottom of Arnie's uh, mug. And oh, sure. We'll take a break, but we're not going to break Arnie. Okay. And we'll be right back with more podcasts from the Deviated Scepter. Yeah. More talking Tico. Fly, you fools. Over to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a patron of the show. For only $5 a month, you get access to all of our wonderful bonus content and material and ad free versions of the show. Here's the situation. Okay. Ding. Uh, we just killed Titrat. Why are you in such a rush? I'm in a rush. Okay, so we just killed Titrat. How'd that go down? Uh, I'm really kind of curious. Set the scene for Wait, hold on. Sean, you killed the rat already? Yeah, you know when I said I was going to the bathroom? Yeah. I ran next door to the tattoo parlor. And uh, um, oh, let me paint a picture. Yeah, do that. Paint a word picture. Okay. No. Blue over here. Some happy clowns over oh, that's here. that's good. Are you out of allowed to with... use blue without his permission? Ooh, is that okay? You, sir, can I, can I use blue without your permission? Uh, of course. Oh, some... It helps me for people okay. to... Pay homage to my color. Now let me just draw a nice, nice gentle tit with uh, a huge rat behind it. Wait, what are you drawing there? Nice gentle the tits. A, rat, a huge rat with nice gentle tits. Were you in my restroom earlier? Did you paint something? Because there was a drawing looked just like it. I did, and then I put uh, Usador's name on next to it for a good time. Uh, for a good time. Call Boy, Usador. Wasn't that long of a break? Bubba. How did you accomplish all these things? Hold on. I was getting a drink from the bar when we came back from break. What is this picture you're drawing? Uh, I wanted to paint a picture of how I killed Titrat. But I killed Titrat. What? Well, I killed a rat with tits. <laughs> Francine! <laughs> oh, no, wait, no. Oh. I, I mean, no. She has kind of a ratty face. Oh, but that sure, wasn't, sure. Wasn't, sure. But it might like have been you, his sister. I could tell you said that with love, though. Like, it, Really? That sounds like love no, to you. No, well, never mind then. <laughs> well, let's just, uh, the way I'd killed uh-huh. Tit Rat was uh, he was in his tattoo chair, fast asleep, and I turned him over and I poured poison into his asshole. Oh. oh. And I, I got to tell you, he Templeton the Tit Rat. Never sits in his own chair. Oh, shit. Because he's got like an infestation yeah. issue. Ooh, you may wow. have killed you may have killed one of his customers. Oh. He what does are, pretty heavy rodent trade. What are some of the other known rats in town? Oh, there's a biggie rat. Uh-huh. Uh, there's Itchy Brother. Uh-huh. Itchy Brother. I think I know who I killed. I think I killed Liberace. 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 Which is a rat that Tit Rat made this rat look just like him. Oh. Liberace. And so I think I just killed Mm. Shit. Well, it's all right, because I think I killed the real tit rat. Yeah. I went down to the temporary tattoo parlor, and I said, tell me your name. And he said, my name is Brat Pitt. And I said, no, you're not. You're tit rat. And I killed him with a fireball. You sure mm. his name wasn't Rat Pitt? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you say it was Brat. Man, you got, this is like, you just are mowing down the rat population. I still don't think that was tit rat. Damn it. And unfortunately, I am a tiki mug that can't move, so Duh. no rule of threes on this one. <laughs> I'd no. say carry your own weight, but you're a 22 ounce bitch, so you're carrying it pretty well. What? I'm a ah shit. <laughs> Never mind. Do you think you would have killed a rat during the break if you were still in human form? You know what? I don't either. No, probably not. I probably would have accidentally killed like I would kill like a a rit tat. Well, That's where I would have gone I'm off it. to kill a rat yeah. while he figures out what he's going to say. But wait, 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 wait. Usador. Bloviation. We have Bloviation here. Who yes. knows Tit Rat better than Bloviation? That's right. Bloviation, That's why don't you help uh, help let us know some weaknesses or where to find this Tit Rat? Okay, now, here's what You know how hard rats are to kill? Yeah. I mean, the poison up the ass. That's pretty smooth. I didn't say it was up the ass. Oh, I see. Wait, where... Just a lot of it trickled out. This is like oh, a Kama Sutra kind of thing. And I'm so sorry to focus on this, but Chunt, 
Why? You know, poison in the ass. The worst way to die. I mean, sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I think being killed by a rat with poison up its ass would probably be even worse. Yeah. Here, I know how I shall kill the next rat. I shall take this rope, and I shall tie it into many knots. And then, a disguised as you, Bloviation, by donning these knots, I shall go forth and find Titrat and kill him once and for all. I love the, the whole thing you got going for you. <laughs> I love that, that coming back to me. Uh, I don't remember what that's called. Vujade. I love that Vujade thing. Oh, you thank got you. Me. Thank you. But you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, you fellas have probably mowed down enough of the rat population. Uh, oh, so we could go to the library now? Yeah, we sent a message to uh, probably go in hiding, right? Well, I'll tell you what. Here's what we got to do. If you don't mind, mm-hmm. I would like to uh, put you up on the uh, wall of fame, the rat killing wall of fame that we have here. Everybody uh, that kills two rats gets to go up there, either that or eat the giant rat burger. And I wouldn't put anybody through that because ever since the health inspector came through, it has been ugly. If you let my skate artist draw you, all right, and then put you on the wall, I'll give you the pass to the library. That'll get you across the bridge, and you can go on your merry way and do your... Skulking around, stealing pages out of a book. That sounds a little underhanded to, to me, well, but, you know, I would know. And uh, I'll let you go. I'll, right. let, I'll let you do that. All right. May I confer with my friends for one moment about this? Yeah. I'll go over here. <laughs> do you think that the kitchen where they make those rat burgers was infested with rats? Oh, I feel sick. Is that a problem? It uh, seems like you just have more rat burgers. Right. Oh, I'm looking in the kitchen, and all the chefs, their hats are kind of moving, like there's a little creature underneath directing them where to go. Oh, no. Oh, and I ate the mouse tattooie. You ate the mouse tattooie? Yeah. Oh, I feel fucking sick. Oh. Oh, no. I ate the Brad Bird. (laughs) Also, let's go ahead and put our faces on this wall and get the pass to go across the bridge. Yeah, I mean, mean, that's pretty straightforward, pretty nice I mostly uh, wanted to pull you guys aside to talk about the infestation. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, all the pictures on the wall have uh, X's for eyes, so that's kind of a fun twist. But yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Have you had your confab? Are y'all talked up? Yo, yes, yes, we're back. Funny how you came over. uh, We didn't call for him. Were you listening? Of course I was. (laughs) I thought we established that earlier in the podcast. Mm -hmm. Or whatever this thing is that you're doing. Uh, Shireff, can I ask, what are some of your Shireff responsibilities? Well, let's see. Arnie, do you mind asking him in his uh, language? Yeah, his ask cadence. me in my language. Oh. His cadence? Oh, uh, Shire, if, I'm, if I may ask, what's... <laughs> I'm not of, the Beverly Hills. What's, <laughs> what's some of your responsibilities? <laughs> what the hell did he say? I think he means responsibilities. Or what are cared. some of your responsibilities? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I was trying to do my best Chatters impression. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, what we have here is failure to communicate. Let's see. I am in charge of titling. Mm. I am the titleist. Titleist. Which, check. We're done. Right there. Yeah. Uh, uh, licenses of pets and other uh, humans okay. uh, transformed in animals. Oh, licensist. Wow. Check. I'm a licensist. I also am in charge of uh, extermination. Oh. Keeping the rat population down, so you guys kind of help me. Exterminationist. With my Exterminationist. And shakedown artist. Oh. oh. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to have admitted that last. Um, see, I'm going to give you your pass. Uh huh. But there is a bridge toll. Oh. oh. Yeah. That's different. That's separate from the pass. That's separate from the pass. Did he mean oh. to say bridge troll and we just can't understand his accent? There's a. Uh, let me try and talk to him. Yeah. Uh, Bloviation, what you're trying to say here is there's a bridge troll. Now, see, you get it. <laughs> You speak my language, and because of that, I'm going to cut the troll toe down. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. Yeah. We'll make it six gold pieces. Oh, six gold pieces. That's finer than hair and a frog leg. Oh, sand it down and split four ways. I like this fella. I want you to stay. I'm a... Oh, uh, whoa. What? Here's the thing. I need an enforcer. The rat thing is pretty constant. Man, I got to tell you, I, whether it was the right rat or not, you <laughs> killed the shit out of somebody in that tad park. That's right. So I tell you what, you stay here, and I'll wave the toll. Your buddy here, and your because here's the thing: the pass is for three. Right. Oh, and Tiki Mug, Arnie's body, yes, and then shit. and then Magic Boy. Um, <laughs> so you stay here and work for me. 
Uh, you'll be up to here in rats. And, you know... Normally you'd be really excited about that. I mean, I'd be excited as I'll get out, but... Yeah. I am scared. We can't split up the party. You're my best Is that friends. a bad thing? Splitting up a party? Yes. Well, splitting checks is a bad thing, but we're a party of four. Well, well, well you, you're the ones dragging a dead, almost dead body around, so I guess you've got to make some choices. I'm going to go back over here and check on these taps and secretly listen to y'all so you talk to more. Arnie, I think you have to sleep with them. What? I think that's what he's getting at. I'm not sure that's on the table. <laughs> Now he doesn't. He wants it in a bed. Not now on he the says table. on the table. <laughs> now he says this rat situation has been constant and ongoing. Does that mean that they all end up married to his sister? Yeah. And what? Why do they all have tits? I don't know. I think this guy is giving rats breast implants, putting them off on his daughter, and then sister, sister, and then having them killed. Maybe. Yeah, I'll tell him. <laughs> By the way, uh, you're up to seven gold just on your tab. Well, here, oh. I, I only have, uh, let's see how much gold I have. I only have a hundred gold pieces right now. Mm. Well, let's see. There's uh, seven uh, for the tab. There's okay. six to get across the bridge. That. That's a hundred. Okay. A uh, hundred gold. Seven. Yep, that, that sounds about right. Okay. So are you staying, Badger Boy, or what? Uh, Arnie, what should I do? Look, I thought something would come to me. <laughs> uh, anyway, hold on. Well, Larry... <laughs> Oh, shit. It's really? Like, it's like Merle's before swine. Pearls before we're, swine. We're out of... Uh, oh, okay. All right, let me offer you another deal. Okay. But I just paid the hundred gold. Wait, yes, I just I had... Yes, I know. An... That was the toll. Wait, I just had an idea. Um, a bloviation, uh, what would you do if uh, maybe three feet in front of you on the table here, I set down some pearls? Uh, pearls? Hmm. Oh. I do. I do like pearls. Uh, Arnie, it's well known that... Pigs love pearls. Swine yeah. loves oh, pearls. He's happier than he would be if, I don't know, if he was like in a big pile of shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And it, and it can truly be said this is the first time in this episode we have put pearls before swine. Oh, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, this makes me want to take my ear off and turn it into a silk purse. <laughs> uh, just because I'm getting in the mood. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whatever, you whatever floats your boat. All right, I'll tell you what. Here's the deal. I'll take the pearls. I'll give you back your hundred gold. Because oh, okay. this is worth... Oh, I am going to look like getting shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, very nice. That's very good. Put him around his neck. But I will make the pass for all four of y'all. Oh. But I just found out somebody ordered a Harvey Wallbanger okay. out of the bar. We're all out of 22-ounce tumblers, and that's the size of our Harvey Wallbangers. If you will let this gentleman over here. Okay. That orc? Drink that. If you'll let the orc. Okay. Uh, he's from Mork. Uh-huh. Uh, Mork Swamp. It's right Mork down Swamp? there. Mork Swamp? Mork okay. from Mork Swamp. If you let him drink a Harvey Wallbanger out of you, as uh, soon as he's done, and he's pretty, <laughs> he tosses him back pretty uh-huh. fast. Sure. Mm-hmm. Hell, I'll let all four of you go across the dadgum bridge. Let us confer for one moment. Sure, I'll go over here and not listen to you. Arnold, yeah. this is the perfect opportunity. By fortune's chance, thou hast been transformed into a 22-ounce bitch, and now you can save the party. Uh, okay, so I just have to let this... Or drink out of or you. Or drink out yeah. of me. But you are literally made for this. You're a little ceramic 22-ounce bitch. This is your opportunity to do something helpful. You just have to agree to it. I thought I was thinking of... Come on, I'm back. I was thinking about an elaborate plan where I hide in the tree and we'd get by oh, with I a didn't know you were my fronds. All right, I'll let you keep going. No, I think you just take it on the chin. Okay. Uh... You're not a dribble tiki mug by any chance, are you? No, no. Because that orc would kick all four of our okay. asses. Oh, I'm sorry, all no, five. No, all he's five. he's he's good. Uh, look, Arnold, how can I beseech thee to take this one for the team? Look, here's the thing. I'm a mug. I like people to drink out of me. I, I'm then only what the hesitant. fuck is the problem? Well, everyone's coming at me so hard like I should not want it to happen. Like, Ernie, I feel like... Mr. Jones and me have been mm-hmm. very Damn it. Str- Me and Mr. Jones. <laughs> we got a thing going on. <laughs> this rapport is, I feel like it's a one to one. This is not fair. I feel like he's being very kind. He is letting us get away with just you being drunk. Yeah. Now, I've been 22 drunk in ounce, most episodes. I know, that's what I'm saying. Is It's not unusual for you to be drunk. Yeah. So, 22 ounce bitch, get drunk. Yeah. Yeah. And don't let him. Into your mind for a second, he's got a pretty ugly lip fungus we ain't identified yet. It'll be okay. Because you're what, ceramic? That sounds real specific. Is, it, is this him? Oh. 
Oh, hello, hey. hello, hey, Mr. Yeah, Orc. How are you doing? Is this him? Is uh, this him? That's him. Hang on there. Yeah. He, he's the orc from Mork. Ooh, that's he's... Oh. But Arnie, he's got DSLs. Deviated scepter lips. Oh, wow. <laughs> kind of split down the middle. Sort of vent all over the place. <laughs> so okay. this is this is, this is is our boy here. What, okay. do, what, do, you, what do you think here, uh, right, Arnie? Sure, look, he can drink from me, or his son can. It can be <laughs> orc or son. I mean, I'm fine with either. <laughs> Weird that you're playing the orc or son card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of mirth. <laughs> Nano nano. <laughs> yeah. Very well then. You want a drink out of you? Oh, okay, here's accent. the thing. I was totally into it, but his is it just me or did his his accent dramatically change? Did it? I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think it changed. That's why well, I didn't bring it up in the initial I've, discussion. You just said I've got a deviated lip, so that's why I can't speak consistent. Oh, and boy, does he spit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Covered in whatever Will you please is. let him drink his Harvey Wallbanger right. out of you? Yeah. Look, here's the thing. Look. Everyone keeps trying to get... I'm into it. <laughs> Nothing... Also, like, look, this body under the sheet behind me, that's me. Oh, you ought to see it. This is like a rental show him. car. Show him. Show him. Show him. Show him. Show him yeah, look at this body. Oh, that's disgusting. No, it's it's handsome. Yeah, it's nasty. I'm gonna drink out of you. Why are you pointing at the body? <laughs> Arnie, Arnie, dump some of your drink in your own asshole. No, no, Let hold on. Is it poison? You got a thing about assholes, don't you? You do. Now You're yeah. just catching on to oh, this? That's the name of your spinoff. <laughs> I've got a thing about assholes. Also, Arnie, real quick. Yeah? Fifth shirt. My other car is a dead Arnie. <laughs> oh. We got to yeah. do it. We got to. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Arnie, uh, just, just, just here. Uh, can I pass you over to him? Sure, yeah, drink, buddy. Drink of me. And pass the Arnie on the left hand side. Oh, thank you so much. I'm gonna enjoy. Well, let's all, let's all raise our, our raise, our raise your me's if you got them. Okay. Let's raise our hymns. Let me make a toast. Yeah, do it. I love drinking out of a 22 ounce bitch, and these just don't. Hold me up away from yeah. the microphone for too long. I like to be on mic as much as possible. Okay, thanks. Uh, I realized by talking, I'm prolonging the yep. amount of time yeah, exactly. that I'm off mic, right. which, mm -hmm. which is its own irony. Yeah. And Bloviation, what were you going to cheers to? I had a really filthy one that my father taught me. I would oh, love to We hear better that. hear it. But while he was talking, I decided, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. now, Blobby, uh, give him the 100 gold. Hey, here, here's 100 gold. We got to hear this toast. Oh, God, I <laughs> know. <laughs> just walk us right up to the filthy part. Uh, and we'll no, jump off the, the first part is the filthy just part. Like the first word? <laughs> Uh, How many no, words can't in this do that, no. Here, here's a thesaurus. Can you walk it through? All right, let's laugh, 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 laugh. This orc's uh, upper body see. strength is something. He's been holding me up for a long time. Here's to all the lip wrestling <laughs> we grabbed and vice versa. Oh, disgusting. I don't get it. Floviation. I, oh, now I'm going to drink this drink. Dedicated to my own deviated lips, because these lips don't lie. And a toast from me. A 69 so fine, you have it with a swine. I tell you, <laughs> Simone and Garfinkel. <laughs> you too. And I also raise my glass in a toast. Let us drink to the forces of goodness and light. Mm. No one? No one? Nah, I'm yeah, not. I'm not a glass down. of freedom. All right, fine. Oh, Arnie. I feel spent. You're glowing. You Arnie, are. you're glowing. Yeah, do you want a cigarette? You have so much color. <laughs> just put a, just drop a cigarette into me. You have so much color in your face. I know. I tell you what, you sit around on this bar long enough, somebody will drop a cigarette <laughs> into you. You know, there's just something to be said for achieving your purpose. You know, it feels good. And what is your purpose? To be drank. Now, this is a lesson, Arnold, that you should take back with you when you enter your real body. Think... How satisfying it is to accomplish the thing that you were meant to do. And I believe the real, full flavor on e Camp was meant to destroy evil wherever it rears its ugly head. Again with rears. Yeah, you fellas are on a real tear. But obsessed, I'm telling you. I, you're right. I'm going to remember this. When I get back to my body, I will be dedicated to my purpose. Good. Of recording this podcast and uh. giving people hangovers. Oh wait, I thought I thought you turned that off. Oh, we've been recording this whole time. I'm so sorry. Larry! Some of this you would have to think that some of this would be considered evidence. Larry, get um, the weapons. 
Here's hey, the... You fellas, excuse me a minute while I go arm myself. Okay. Hey, uh, hey we got the pass, right? Do we have? He, he left it here on the table. Let's just okay. let's just run. Okay, great, great. Let's. Great. These four assholes over here are, are, have been Holy shit! Grab your stuff. We gotta go. Okay, we gotta go. go. He's, go, he's go, putting go. he's putting arms where his hooves are. Okay, great. Hey, don't forget the mics. Get the mics. Get the mics. Oh, you guys gotta drag my body. Don't oh, get my body. Fuck, Quick, Arnie, slide across the front of the cart. Oh no, how are the boys now gonna get out of this one? Who would have thought we could squeeze so much dramatic tension out of Arnie simply agreeing with an idea? Whoa, I just felt the entire cast of World News Tonight at I.O. cry out in agreement and then fall silent. Use It or the Wizard was played by Matt Young. Chunt the Talking Badger was played by Adol Rafai. Bloviation Jones was played by special guest Clint McElroy from the podcast The Adventure Zone. If that title isn't familiar, you've never posted the question, which podcast should I listen to? On social media, my very favorite simultaneous cry for attention and cultural hand grenade to leave your friends fighting for days while you drain their bank accounts. Check out the Adventure Zone graphic novels too, wherever fine podcast-related graphic novels are sold. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adol Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Earwolf producer, Kimmy Lucas. This episode edited by Stefan Dranger. Special assistance by Ryan DeGiorgi. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard Laban. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland. If you or someone you know has had their essence trapped in a tiki mug, you're not alone. Get in touch with the Tiki Mug Soul Prison Hotline by dialing a bunch of numbers or find us on Twitter under the handle Martin L. Wilson. This is your mysterious authoritative voice signing off, reminding you that deep down inside, we're all Palpatines. Hamuna Namada. That's what I, that's what I always say. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.